Right, it was National Hill Climb Champs on the weekend for the men and women on Old Horseshoe Pass. It's an interesting climb. It's pretty steep, 12.5%, but got some really sort of rampy sections um, in it as well. It's not that not that steady of a gradient. We're going to go through the men's first and the women's. So this was Andrew Feathers' ride. He won it. Surprise, surprise. I did think he was going to win it. His numbers looked absolutely ridiculous. And um, anyway, so... 453 watts was was where he started off, so we're just going to get to that a little bit. I don't know, what was it? Right, anyway, about 512 watts for five and a half minutes. Now, that is unbelievable. There's always some questioning on Andrew's power, power day because um, when you compare it to, like, Tom Bell's, it's always a little bit different. Um, I've got quite a lot of people's rides up, to be honest, so you can sort of have a look. Because Tom Bell is lighter, and as I said, he's done 7.3. Then we look at Kieran... He said he did 7.1, which is probably about right. And he was a little bit further down on Tom. So I'm not 100% sure. It might not be 8.1. It might be a little bit less. But nonetheless, is an unbelievable uh, ride. Uh, Tom Bell and Andrew Feather were very close, actually, in terms of the timing. I think only you know a couple of seconds off. But compared to everyone else, they were actually miles ahead. But I think what's interesting is looking at the pacing strategy. Now, I always, you know, people don't seem to like my opinions on pacing strategies always, but... Um, it's an interesting one, this, because he goes hardest when it's, like, not that steep. Um, but anyway, you can see pretty control. He's on this one on a lot of hill climbs, starting off at, like, 400 watts. So 500 watts, and I'm really surging at the end. So it's actually, like, negatively split. Maybe finds it easy to get the power up. But you can actually see here, there's this massive um, burst. It's a minute at 600 watts, This the last bit. But it's actually the least steep part. It's only 12% now. Well, if you look, like, down here, it's, like, 14%. And there's actually this bit where he actually rides relatively cons controlled this uh, 100 meters at 19 percent is actually not doing as many watts as when he gets to the less steep part towards the end and really kicks on um but yeah interesting pacing strategy uh well sorry that's it gone as right we'll compare it to tom bell um who in my opinion the master of pacing um and so you can see his is is very very flat um there's no real uh, variations. If you look at the max power, they're all, you know, plus or minus a, a little bit. You know, he obviously does 418 for the last minute as well. But I think his ride cuts out early because he ended it at the top. So you don't actually see the very end of the ride. It's the new Strava feature and it's actually really annoying um, because it cuts off. So you see here, like, it's not the full ride. So the lap is 6 minutes 19, but you'll see that, like, um, the, the top part on Andrew's ride, uh, this bit here, um, it doesn't it doesn't continue, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but anyway, it's still interesting to see that the pacing strategy, again, is, is quite flat. And I think that makes most sense, obviously, physiologically, but also for the for the steepness of the road. None of the bits are a lot steeper or, uh, you know, the speed is is quite, quite consistent. You can see this. the peaks are not are not crazy. Um, anyway, we'll. We'll sort of go over to Kieran as well. He finished seventh, but his time is, for some reason, the second fastest on Strava. You can see, again, 7.1 watts per kilo. Very impressive numbers. Uh, I mean, 7 watts per kilo for six, six seven minutes is, is super good. Uh, and it goes to show the UK hole climbing scene is in good, good condition, um, which is nice to see. Ed Laverick did not uh, have the best day out of his life. Um, I sort of knew he wouldn't. He's just the numbers weren't there for the big man. But... Yeah, you know, top 10 is still good, but it was uh, not unbelievable. Gabe Della, big big fan of the channel. He's had a very stunning ride. Um, and Alex Raynard, who I coach, actually managed to get top 20 as well, which is very good as well. Um, but anyway, we'll go to the women's because, um, unfortunately, not all of them are uploaded. If we look here, um, actually, I think, I think I might actually be able to find them. Uh, but yeah, the women's, again, sort of the favourite, who I thought it was going to be, which is Illy Gardner. And she whacked out some big, big watts. 6.4 watts per kilo so for 6 minutes 40 is very, very impressive. Um, and really, you know, goes to show that um, the sort of level that you need to win these races. Because let's be honest, there's a lot of people who struggle to do 6.4 um, for that sort of duration. It's pretty, pretty impressive here. You can see Beecher was doing 6 watts per kilo for 7 minutes. Again, very, very strong ride. And Mary Wilkinson came second. Um, I think she'll also probably have power date as well. But you can look at Illy Gardner's painting strategy, more similar to sort of like a traditional one where you go hard on the steep parts. But you can see there's definitely some surges up to like 350, 400 watts in some of these parts um, where it does get steep, which I think is, it probably does make sense. And you can see over the top as well, um, it gets super, super high speed. So there's actually no need to sort of push on. 
Um, didn't None of them really started off crazy. You can see the first 30 seconds is hardest for her, but it's only 365 and you think the average is like 315. So, you know, not, not actually that crazy. And you'll see that's the same with Andrew Feather as well. He always starts off pretty relaxed. Like his first, his first pedal stroke was at sub 600 watts, which is pretty mad. Um, uh, again here like you can see Kieran I think probably might have gone a little bit harder on the on the first part 470 but again you sort of do need to get up to speed but you can see here like when they go on there's again it's pretty like this bit here is pretty pretty uh I'm pretty sure that would be in the saddle a nice cadence and um yeah like pretty pretty steady and then really wax it quite hard but again no one's really blowing up or anything no one's really um yeah so everyone seems to know exactly what they do. A lot of people, I think, rode it a lot because it's such a technical climb. Um, but yeah, there you go. Cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this quick breakdown of everyone's power data. And I'll see you in the next one.